Hello everyone, this is Odotai and uh, welcome to a new Click Team Fusion 2.5 tutorial. So I actually didn't plan to make uh, any new tutorials, like I thought I was over with this series, but turns out I encountered a problem with Click Team Fusion and it's not the first time I got this problem. Um, it's about the, you know, uh, you know, in Click Team Fusion, uh, you have transitions, all, all sorts of transitions. You can put so you can put on actives and frames. Um, for some uh, for some reasons, it didn't work for me. It didn't function properly. So I got two frames. So I let, let, let me just say this. So I just created a new application called Baguette because why not? Then I made two separate frames. Uh, one of them I took from. One of my games and uh this is one of my intros so um it's a crappy one but yeah uh, i put a black active here and right behind that i put uh you know my logo as i call it so what this does is uh, uh when you start the frame uh, the cover automatically destroys and the cover has as you can see on the left hand side it has uh, a fade in in a fade out transition um, I really don't think the fade in works pretty well um, so when uh, when this is destroyed the fade out transition automatically like you know rolls in and then it should work properly uh, while uh, the text is um, sc sc uh, scaling every sec and every millisecond or like a specific amount of time <clears throat> And then I made this um, baguette frame where uh, when you transition into this this frame it plays a zoom transition so um, to make it work properly like to uh, do do this I um, put, put some events that when I pressed uh, the right and left keyboard it will automatically switch between frames so that'll be a better uh, way to debug this so let's go ahead and test it out but uh, before that i can i should uh, quickly tell you how this frame works so uh, as i told before uh, the cover gets destroyed uh, the fade in fade in fade out transition play and the, the text uh, gets scaled every millisecond um so uh, normally you have to wait a couple of seconds for the transition like for the frame to go over uh, but if you click uh, on your left mouse key, uh, it will skip automatically, and this will be created. So, well, let's test it out. And as you, can keep, as you can see, it didn't play from the start. And let's click on the left; it just disappeared automatically. Interesting. So, um, as I said, let's press the right key uh, to move on to the next frame. And as you can see no transition is being played so that's interesting hmm. possible uh, fixes for this bug as i should say um is when we click on the application bug it and then look at the properties and we go on to runtime options uh, we can see there's this display mode thingy mine's at direct uh, 311 and these change basically the display like the graphics kind of there are some subtle changes but yeah so um, one of the things I heard is that you can uh, also it might be most most users can have a directory 9 as default so uh, let's say we're at here and what you need to do is uh, go to standard and then uh, run the application uh, just like this then switch back to your default one direct 3d9 it may not work for everyone but this is just a possible fix As you can see it, it didn't work out really well. one other way to fix this problem uh, is by um, running the cl running click the infusion 2.5 with your uh, default uh, graphics card as I should say so uh, my computer has um, like another uh, graphics card, NVIDIA, and by default, uh, when I open applications, it opens um, with using the NVIDIA 
like uh, graphics card. So um, we'll we'll uh, so since it's by default, I'll just uh, close the application and try to run it with my uh, original, uh, like my default um, graphics card, Intel, and we'll see how this goes out. Um, if it does not work. It might be because uh, the graphics card may be out of date, so you should look uh, to update it, like keep it up to date. So okay, let's test it out. As you can see my click name is here. To do this, you have to right click, run with graphics processor, then as you can see, it's default. And let's just press, let's open this again. And then let's run, hopefully it works. No, that's interesting. Hmm. One other time I got this was a few months ago. Um, and I thought it was just a bug. Like, did I did something in my, like, I, did I still did something wrong in the event editor? And uh, when I checked it out, uh, there was no problem. So I was shocked. And then uh, the next day when I opened the click theme, it worked, interestingly. But this problem has uh, occurred to me again by yesterday, and uh, I still couldn't find a way how to fix this. By the way, another interesting fact I found about the transition fix is that, um, so I built this application, like the one we did with the bucket and the intro, and when I run this, uh, it still it, it still doesn't give me the transitions, interestingly. and. Uh, one one other thing is, uh, as you can see here, here is uh, Doctor Caster, and um, this is one of my games, and uh, I probably built this a few uh, weeks ago, and uh, at that time the transitions were functioning properly, but now I tested this out and none of them worked. So th this I I think this uh, problem changes from computer to computer. So. If you publish this and give this to another friend, a friend of yours, let's say, they might not encounter the same transition problem as we did. So this is most likely, as I assume, uh, is because of the antivirus pro programs on your computer may um, disable the <clears throat> something, I don't know, something, something that enables the, the transitions for click theme fusion. So now we'll look into the antivirus and try to come up with something, a possible solution. So now we have to disable our antivirus program. Uh, if you have multiple ones, you can try to close some, I assume, and see if you get the best results. So uh, in my computer, uh, I don't have any uh, like mm, antivirus programs I manually installed, but uh, in Windows, there's, as we know, uh, Windows Defender. So we have to close that first. And to do that, we go to settings, or right over here. And then under Windows settings, we press update and security. Then we go there and uh, we press on Windows security. Yes. Then we press on virus and threat protection. Yes. Then uh, under the screen, on virus and threat protection settings, we press on manage settings. There you go. And then as you can see, uh, real-time protection, uh, yes, we have to close this, boom, and yes, oh damn, I'm, we're screwed, anyways, um, let's see if it works, no, I'm not surprised to say, hmm, okay, we'll go over some possible fixes, some other possible fixes, uh, but let me tell you this, so um, if none of this works, you should probably uh, re try reinstalling uh, Click Team Fusion 2.5 sure. uh, or just wait until it automatically fixes itself. Because the first time I uh, encountered this problem, uh, I don't remember when it passed, but uh, it just fixed itself automatically. So I, I really don't know. Uh, like. How is, yours, how is yours going to be fixed? So we'll go over, over more examples, hopefully. You might also uh, try restarting your computer after these changes, uh, so it might work, but 
I don't guarantee it yourself. So I'm back from restarting my computer and um, let's test if it works. I hope it works. Okay. Oh, all right. It worked. Nice. And as you can see, we have the fade in transition. Shut up. Okay. So interesting. Let's open Click Team again. So if the program worked as an executable file, uh, it must have worked here as well in Click Team. Because why not? So let's test it. And yeah, it seems perfectly fine. That's nice. And as you can see, the transition happens, works perfectly. Yes, our perfect tasty buggets has appeared. So uh, this fix, uh, like the, the way I did it is I showed earlier uh, when I closed Windows Defender, then I restarted my computer, which it just automatically worked. So um, I guess that's it. But it may not work for all of you. I'm not really sure. This is a vague problem that many people seem to encounter. Uh, just go over and try the other steps uh, in this video. And if they don't work, uh, just uh, reinstall uh, Click Team Fusion 2.5 as I stated earlier. So yeah, that's it. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I really don't plan to make any more Click Team Fusion 2.5 tutorials because <clears throat> um, I just lost interest. It's, this just came up to my mind, and I said, "Hey, why why don't I make a click team like a tutorial and yeah, try to find some possible fixes?" Because as I stated, uh, this is not the first time I encountered this, and I may encounter this in in the future as well. So um, the win the Windows Defender like when you close it, it might like it should automatically re-enable itself again I don't know when uh, but if it doesn't uh, just try um, <clears throat> opening Windows Defender again and see if the problem reoccurs if it does not just close Windows Defender and make sh make sure to um, you know <laughs> be more careful on the internet uh, on viruses well that was a stupid uh, lesson but anyways mm, thank you all for tuning in and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video but not a Click Infusion 2.5 video. Anyways, I talk too much. See ya.